you get that gesture? I'm allowed to talk because I've been into myself. And then I anchor myself in this game because otherwise I lift up way too high. And then I update my system. So, the idea is to focus on the space in between, on the abstract patterns that you observe. So this is how you get into the black aspect of matter, the black magic, the black chromatic outlook which doesn't mean bad or good just means being aware of the unknown although it's always in front of you the clear space might be dark space dark matter black that we manipulate to get our information so the only thing that really changes is the position of my temple which equals my body the position of my pyramid which equals my mind and or spirit And this is how I focus on the meta level, which is then literally grabbable. So this also gets into controlling your nervous and muscle system to extend where you don't need certain resistances in an isolated format which what you might know what you might know from bodybuilding or from fitness studios because you only work in a 2d layer then you get into a 3d layer because you maybe from from a chest press into a, into a bench press into a push-up into grabbing and putting your hand into the realm and being aware that you grab certain things into existence and this is how you how you can steer your own spacesuit your own ship throughout the grid and this is when you become aware of yourself you become aware of the of the things around you you become aware of the abstract patterns which sit everywhere because if you take a look into the window, into your soul, if you observe what you see in front of you, it is just a 2D image, which has no depth. This might be because we we operate so much with with the, with the screens but basically that's also what reality is it's a 2d image and then you go somewhere and you have the illusion of a grabbable thing that you then pull into yourself and then you you be like oh yeah now now i have it no you don't you think you have it but you will lose it again if you get into fasting, if you get into uh, 
into breathing, you will push it through. You will pull it through. But it just travels through. That's what your existence is. That's what your soul transport matrix system is over here. You just go through the tunnel where you've been presented with certain ideas and certain tools and certain certain materialistic things that you then keep chasing. You think, oh yeah, I, I get this, I get that. I mean, like, what do you really get? You don't get it because then you you take it and you, you store it in your household, which you then think, oh yeah, now I go back because this certain area belongs to me, which is certainly true. And this gets, yeah, of course, into like families and family trees and roots and, but yeah, you, you see, you see the lineage. Where does it, where will the lineage get you in the end? It will get you to the source, right? Isn't it so? So what's the source? How could I ever say? ever that another consciousness exists than my own how could I ever be able to do that it's impossible how could I experience another outlook another consciousness I could change the mirror still what looks out is myself it's myself who looks out and in all the time if I'm very transparent which I am I only see myself in the mirror transparently so then I get the illusion of I grab myself materialistically I can only hold myself my material together my temple my pyramid my body my mind which is my spirit so this is what the black comatic Kemetai yoga yogic outlook is focus on the space in between now many people maybe don't even focus on two symbols to focus on the space in between is when you start to create abstract patterns which also gets into creating your own sigils into creating your own space which gets me into the outlook that I am it sounds very bizarre right but <laughs> if I break the mirror if I shatter all symbols if I shatter all spells imaginations that I've been in, who is honking at me here if I shatter all mirrors all symbols all spells that I've been informed with who is looking out and who is looking in who's observing that why is my pupil black which gets into the original people the original original humans from on earth on heart black melanin the sun stressing yourself breaking yourself over and over again to get to the perception and the outlook and the perspective that it was always yourself who was creating the tunnel or the outlook or the consciousness because what is like what is God good it's good Like, okay let's let's stop stop oh sorry Let, let's stop complaining here stop complaining stop talking just observe just okay how about that shut down your eyes what do you see your imagination or you just see black maybe you see red another color full color spectrum so you see yourself you take a look into the mirror and we did this gets into what the human mind or the human consciousness is it is creating itself 
in order to experience itself over and over again, reproducing itself, still it keeps on chasing what? Where's the singularity point? We say, oh, I'm single, or I have a partner, I have, like, no, you don't have a partner. Like, could you ever own a partner? No, you, you of course not. So I am always single, which is the illusional thing with the two eyes. Because you have like two eyes which keep fooling you because may maybe, but only maybe, but I'm pretty sure about that, it's only about your internal state. Isn't it like that? Because your internal state, your your pyramid, your mind, your spirit is what dictates your outlook so you are the dictator of your own consciousness you dictate what you see you dictate how it works because you look into the mirror you look into the consciousness and this is why I say this is a magic realm and to, to name a certain number, like 99.999% of beings in here are controlled by another mind state, which is not themselves. This is why it's called government, govern mind. It tells you in the name of it that we govern your mind. We tell you how it all works. Why is that? Because you are not anchored in yourself. You don't know that you write here your own story. Like, I've been also told all of this. I live in this society, so I have to somehow operate in here. But with all I know, all I just see is certain codes, certain symbols, which have been thrown at me. So how about this? I get here onto Earth, I, ra I write year one. Now I'm in the year of 27. If I only, like, if my parameters of my calendar would have 365 cycles, if, like, you get it? It's like one day would be a full cycle of the, the, the sun's going up and the moon is coming up, and this will be a full cycle. So I live in, in year 27. I don't live in 2021. Like, why would that be? See, and this is basically what we see in here. We see basically only puppets who are controlled, with the, who, which my, their minds are controlled by other beings who are not themselves and they just slave basically for them they have not the power the capacity to stand up for themselves and be like hey you know what this is my consciousness and I create my own life which everybody does you know I do all of the shit that everybody else does of course but I like my mind is not being controlled by it I see all of this you know I'm like okay let's let's do it like this let's do it like that I'm adaptable I'm an adept an alchemist a shaman a black prince a gray, a gray prince, a white prince, a prize winner, a Nobel Prize winner, a professor, a student, a teacher, I'm a child, I am. I'm whatever like you might think you inform me, inform me with. So like I said, focus, focus on the space in between, which you think is not existing or not grabbable. You're like, oh, this is air or this is whatever you might think it is. You're like, oh, this is not existing because I moved through that. It's like, no, the only thing that really exists is your mind state, which is mind state, which is my state. So I live in my state. 
I live in my state, in my state of the nation. My body, which is my pyramid, my triangle, my holy temple. And what else did I brilliantly write down here? And my out and in look. That's the only thing that is changing. Music is life. That's why our hearts have beats. So you pick what you see. Like the, this literally standing in front of my mirror here. So basically, like I don't do it right now because that would be unresponsible. No, like what all of you are doing is unresponsible because you did not stand up for your own consciousness. It's like, I do like, fine, let's do it like you tell me in this society how it works. We can do it, but empower your consciousness. Become aware of your mind state. And then consciously choose, like, is that, like, what is really, like, truthful? Is that compassionate? Like, I tolerate you with, with whatever mind state you might have. But is that truthful? Now, the truth is that I look out and in. I steer my own consciousness. I, I move my own temple, my own pyramid, my mind state. And I inform myself with certain information through my senses, which then become my outlook. If I break my mirror and I become very philosophical, and I transparently mirror what I am, and I don't hide, why should I hide? Why should I hide? For, from whom? From whom should I hide? There's no, no reason why I should hide. There's no reason at all why, why you should hide. You have a, that's your birthright to speak your mind into existence. That's all you have in the end, your voice. Stand up for your voice. Like uh, the, the voice of America, the voice of the world, the voice of Germany. Like it's not about singing. It's about what you resonate with in your, in your heart in the first place in your mind become aware of that and then speak it out like don't hold on to it you would you could never hold on to it so like i said focus on the space in between which if you become aware of this like a good example might be, take a look at your hand, all right? You take a look at your hand. Now then you focus onto certain fingers. Now focus on the space in between your fingers. Focus on the space in between your fingers. And then you can start to move the space in between your fingers like this, all right? Boom, see that power? <laughs> you move the space in between your fingers so you basically not move your fingers you move the space in between your fingers so you change the forms the abstract patterns in between your fingers so this is how you can would control dark matter you this is how you would how you would control black magic So this gets into becoming very aware of where you put your hands and feet into. This also gets into balancing on the gym ball, like standing on the gym ball, which I practiced in the last days, which is perfect for your sensorimotorical field, for your prioceptors, prioreceptors in your feet, which get you, they give you the feedback of where you position 
your consciousness, your outlook into in, in the realm where you are. And I train with 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 an eye mask, with shut down eyes, in order to really feel the ground, really feel myself. And then you get to you you get to the perception that you never go anywhere. Like I said, only what you resonate with, only what you have inside of your head, the information that you intake, and the positions of your body changes. And then the mirror that you might think you observe with your eyes. You'll be like, oh, this is my mirror. This is what it is. Like, you get that, you get that type of outlook. Now, if you would only drive in a car, take a look at the horizon, you basically drive in a tunnel all the time. Now, the tunnel is basically the journey to yourself because this is what it's looking out. This is where you go. It's like you observe it like this, which gets spiraled into yourself. And this is what the whole journey is. This is what you are. You travel in your spacesuit through this realm. And you experience only, but only, your consciousness. So this is why, like, there it, there it stands. Uh, see, see, like, music is live. That's why our heart uh, beats. Unresponsible for me, right? But, you see, this, this black eyes, black wonder trees, like I'm a redwood black tree. I'm a black tree. Black 33, three, black 42. 42 laws of Ma'at, chematics. You know. This is how it works. This is how you, how you really understand yourself. So, and this is why I. For my type of outlook, it's very funny if you take a look into the black mirror and then you see how basically the general human consciousness works. Because you take a look into social media and then you, you've been totally fooled by the information of, oh, this video has so and so much views. This video has this and that rate rating. Like, it, it does not, if you have anchored knowledge, if you no, anchored, which gets into the onk, the uncles, the fath, fathers, be truthful, and the mothers, the mummies, and the puppies, like, it does not matter how something is rated, or how something is ranked, or how many views something has, or, like, not how many views something has. These numbers and these letters and spellings, they don't change anything. They do not make a certain type of information more truthful. They do not. They do not make it more truthful. Only because this mirror is ranked or rated differently. And this is why I say your eyes are fooling you to such a big degree and this is so interesting to see that in this society in this outlook that we think oh this is so advanced and everything technological advance advancement like if you would like and i'm studying that at the moment like i i'm i'm getting more into kinematics and then, you know that we can dig deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and i know in the end it's only myself who digs the hole but certainly then we find out well like the calendars is pretty much a belief system which gets into lies technological advancements how would you ever say that these things not already have been here then we take a look into like Deserts, or maybe Devil's Tower, giant trees, 
like it, this sounds so mystical to you, right? Or esoterically, or conspiracy theorist, theor, 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 theoristically. It's like, oh, that can't be. Like you don't like you. You've not been to the other side. You've probably have never drinking dr dr drinking your urine. You have not drank it to such an extent that you've connected yourself to yourself. You have probably not fasted yourself inside of you. And then you operate on this outer layer and you think like all of that that you, th you think exists because you perceive it with your eyes, that's how it works. And like they, they did not told me that uh, there is another side to it, another out viewpoint, another outlook. So this is why it's completely retarded. This is why it, it's his story. It's the story of somebody else. I'm not interested in your story. I'm not. Why should I be freaking interested in your story? It has no benefit at all to me. If I'm interested in your story, I might come to you. I take a look inside of your story and be like, okay, now, how, how can we merge our minds? Like, okay, that's, that's what you think. That's what I think. Let's see let's let's fuse it together into ether again where we come from but see and this is why it's so bizarre this realm is completely bizarre because what we keep mirroring out is not like very anchored or truthful to a big degree it's not it's it's a projected lust plane it's a projected demonic fear-based interpretation of other minds because they have not mastered pumping up their semen or eggs into their into their spine into their head and working with consciously creating what they would like to have in this reality and what would be really beneficial to all minds and truthful because their consciousness is trapped in a certain system which is about the moon which is about the money which is not about the sun is not it's not about the light it's not about what provides life it's about the moony it's about oh you get this yeah only if you pay me a certain price which is not it's not it's not holistically it's not holy and I don't tell you to worship the sun. That's not like, that's a very narrow-minded outlook also. Let's fuse it together. Then we, come, we, we become very wise. We get into the gray matter. We get into our brain. That, that's really wise. And that's how it was probably working back in Kemet. You, need, you needed something? All right. What do you need? Yeah, I need certain amounts of this. All right, what could you provide? Yeah, I'll provide this for you. All right, let's do it. Great. So we merged together because everybody knew already about the Holy Cup, about the Holy Grail, which is drinking your urine, which is, hey, you're self-sustaining with that. And it's not about like, oh, I am a Brotherian and I don't need food, but it's about, hey, you can just drink your urine and become pretty much awesome. And no matter what you do, you become very much more brilliant with it. And then you, if you need certain things, let me know. Like, okay, we can share that for you. We can create this society for everybody in a much more truthful and perfect way. Where you are completely holistic, where you are holy, you are connected to yourself, you are, you are healthy. And you can work with all of your imaginations. That's how it was used to be. That's how the human avatar and consciousness should work together. But we've all tricking ourselves with a dumb, dumb perspective of, yeah, like we get money, which is not even a currency. It's not, it, the, there's no worth in it. The like paper is not fluxing electromagnetism. 
I burn your paper. I burn your paper. That's how. That's what I do with it. I burn it. And my and the fire that your paper would give me has more energy than what you think your currency holds. That's how it works. But you hide behind your layers, you hide behind your the packaging that you put onto yourself because you are in fear of losing everything that you could not even hold on to in the first place. See, and this is the complete bizarre thing with it. It's so freaking bizarre. This is very... Yeah, whatever. Work on your perception, work on your perspective. Like, work more with the space in between. Get into abstract patterns. Work on your internal state, on your internal mirroring process that you keep mirroring out become aware of your mind state become aware of my state because i'm the state of the nation and if i speak i create that i put that into existence so re-own your voice fast yourself drink from the holy waters get into the still waters know about your alchemy know what's good for your temple for your pyramid for your mind because you are worth knowing that and you are worth and you are almighty you are divine that's how it is and you should keep remembering yourself you should keep remembering who you really are and how it all works and why why you're here why you are putting yourself in this situation and like i told you how could I ever say that another consciousness exists? See this paper? How could I ever say that? Impossible. It's impossible. So that means I'm creating at least my life. But it's very interesting to me because if I keep changing myself, it gets mirrored in front of me, right? Isn't that like that? So this is why I see my power. This is why I see myself. This is why I see my own potential in the black mirror and in the mirror that I produce. So I provide, I serve basically for all of you. Like even, even if you would listen or if you would not listen on, and no matter what you think about it, I keep doing what I do because I know it's valuable and it, it is already heard, heard. Because I sing my voice into, I sing my material into existence. All right? So stay divine, stay beautiful, create through, through the dark hole, through the dark matter, truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance for all.